Hi everyone, I am Carson Fagerbaki from Love For Real and welcome to Hallmark Happenings. Thanks uh, for having me. Of course, the movie was awesome. Let's just get started and talk about maybe this opportunity that uh, you got to be on Hallmark Channel. I love that they went with a younger group of actors. What was yeah, that like yeah. for you when this opportunity just came up? Um, it was great. I've seen, I've only seen a few Hallmark movies before, but this one was different than any of the ones, I mean, reading the script, it felt different than the ones that I had read, not only because of the age, but also because it seemed to be, which I, part of the reason why I loved it was because it was primarily about two female best friends. And I also like the double romance that's going on as well. Um, so that I thought that that was really cool. You know, I was a little worried at first that they were going to like turn on each other and make it into a whole catty thing. But I love that, like, it was just as much about romance as it also is about friendship. I have two young female leads. I loved that. And it's funny because uh, your character, even though she was kind of like, <laughs> I, I guess a little catty, but she ended up kind of having an alliance. Yeah. In, which is and... another reason why I loved her too. I thought, you know, she's an antagonist of sorts, I think from the get go, but, but she's still, she's just looking out for herself. And then at the end, she's still there for, you know, she, she makes her alliance with Haley and, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I, so she has a, she has a soft, like, you know, friend side to her as well. Yes. That was kind of, I bet that was fun for you to play with because I thought they were just gonna make your character out to be just like so sassy the whole time. But then I liked that they kind of threw us for a little bit of a twist and you kind of yeah. came together in the end. And I like, I was like, they should have a spinoff where your character gets to be yeah. it's next season. We were all joking so much about different spinoffs that could happen, but I was like, I would love to see Vanessa as the queen of hearts and what would ensue there. But yeah, she's, I love that about her. I mean, she was really like, she was so fun. I, I know, I don't know if, well, I actually initially read for the character of Brie. I'm only remembering actors' names. Brie, and when they offered me Vanessa, I was like, wait, we get to do a wine toss. We got to get thrown in the pool. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> Yeah, lots of physical comedy for your character. Yeah, that was really, really fun. fun. This being a dating show, and I mean, The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, it's just like its whole thing. It's huge, it's massive. Were you yeah. a fan of those shows? So I'm not. I've never, I'm not a big reality show person in general at all, but I've lived with many people who are. If it is on, I will find myself watching it for hours. I can see how it's addicting. And I've, I've watched many episodes, but never on my own. So I don't know any details, but I can be entertained by it for sure. <laughs> it is definitely entertaining. I haven't yeah. watched any of those either. I watched dancing with the stars and there's always a bachelorette or a bachelor coming on there. So that's yeah, yeah. Of my knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never, I'm not really, I, I'm not really one to watch except for like the great British baking show. I don't really watch any other reality shows. Oh, but that makes sense. They're so good. I know. <laughs> That's just enough reason to watch that. Just sit there and just like, oh my goodness. I wish we talked like that. <laughs> I know, right? Except I can't watch that too much because then it just makes me hungry. And I'm like, well, I don't have, it's my, that's my problem with cooking shows too, is that I'm like, well, now I want to eat all of it. And I can't. <laughs> yeah, if only they could like bake for us. I don't know about you. I watch like the baking shows as well. And I, I don't bake. I don't cook. I microwave, but I'm still like in awe of their talent. I know. I'm so bad at it. It was my goal in 2020 and it didn't really, <laughs> it didn't really come to fruition. Yeah. Well, maybe someday you take a cooking class. You can someday. take a Zoom I cooking cook class. All the time in the world. <laughs> It's really quickly. I just thought of this. So I, I love how they kind of established your character as the bad girl kind of going into it. And I love the, not bad girl, you know, but like, the, but they, the, well, they do, they say, even, I think like the first scene, they're like, she's the villain. Well, I love your, then they just like shot to you and you were like, dolphins are my favorite animal because they're sweet and innocent, but they can kill sharks. I was like, Whoa, <laughs> that is a very uh, sassy line. The director McLean comes from, he was an actor and he comes from an improv background. So he was fantastic and he would always be like if we had extra time he'd be like just say this just say this try to say something about this let's do it again like he was great so that one was not initially in the script 
That's so funny. What a neat, like little add in that totally yeah. worked. It I was totally like added to the script it. and the whole storyline. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't realize the director is married to Claire Niederprum, who's also yes. a big Hallmark director. I just like found that out like the night before oh last. I was like, oh, yeah. wow. They're fantastic together. She was shooting another Hallmark movie at the same time in Paris. And I didn't meet her until the very ne- last night that we were on Hawaii. She came and flew. So I think they were staying for a bit, but they both live in LA and I've now seen them multiple times since then. They're so wonderful. And they're both so talented and so sweet and supportive and hilarious and like so good together. I just like, can't say enough good things about both of them. I know her pen pal was the one she directed in Paris and both this movie and that yes. movie were like nice changes for Hallmark channel. They were like different storylines. So it's awesome. You got to be a part of that. that one, yeah. I want to see it. Oh, they you're going to love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's on, it's on my list. And they're so lucky. I mean, like instead of going to Vancouver, one got to go to Hawaii, the other got to go to Paris. I'm like, oh, I know. Man. I was like, wow, you guys have such tough jobs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that uh, sounds like the Two dream. Great locations at the same time. <laughs> uh, well, let's talk about location for a second. Filming this was in Oahu, is that right? Yes, it was in Oahu. We were all staying either in Waikiki or Honolulu, and yeah, it, I've never been to Hawaii before, so I was thrilled. Uh, everything, everywhere we went, the main house that we were shooting in, uh, the, the mansion where all of the heart choices contestants were staying like that house was gorgeous and that was our you know our lunch break every day was just like on the grass overlooking the beach in this gorgeous mansion it was fantastic and then we shot at the Jurassic Park I forget what it's called I want to say Kailua but I could be messing that up um but it's where Jurassic Park was filmed and that was really exciting because I'm a big fan Oh, are you? So I guess you're like, um, like the old ones or like the new ones? Um, all of them, but the original. <laughs> okay. That's gosh, that came back out in like, was that the eighties or nineties? I can't even remember. I want to say eighties. Eighties. Okay. So you're like I'm the not original positive, fan. I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> Have you watched, like, are you watching along with the new ones? I know didn't, was a new one like just released or is it coming out with Chris Pratt? I don't remember. I've seen a new movie in a really long time. I haven't been to the movie theaters yet. I really wanted to go. So I have no idea, but I, that sounds right. It could I be. Think maybe. I remember they were shooting a new one. I think they filmed it in London. Who I knows? will see I've... it if it comes out. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure you'll be like, you have to put like an alert on your phone, like a Google alert. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell so, me when I can see it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's really cool that you'd never been to Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii, but like yeah. what a cool opportunity for you. So you, can you walk us through your audition process? And when you realized that you were going to be spending like three weeks in Hawaii? Yeah, of course. So I, I sent in I just sent in a tape for Brie, the character of Brie played by Tyana. And uh, I heard, the next thing I heard was they were like, we would like to offer you the role of Vanessa. And I was so excited because Vanessa's character is so much fun. And I was just excited to be a part of it at all in any capacity. Um, It was my first flight I had taken since COVID and so I was really excited in like you know a lot of ways and flying into Hawaii is beautiful and I had had people tell me this before they're like make sure before you land you open up your window and you're looking because the water is gorgeous the beaches are stunning I've never been in that kind of tropical environment at all so every day off was just like great Uh, there's so much to do there there's so much to explore there's like really cool hikes waterfalls you can like jump in these watering holes it's amazing. And the people there that I did meet were really wonderful. Obviously, most of the crew was Hawaiian, if not all of them were living on the island. Um, and Tayana, who plays Brie, is Hawaiian, and she was so sweet. And she would take us to like her favorite spots, too, which was really great. And um, Yasmin, who played, what was her character's name? Luann. She played one of the contestants. And she's also from Hawaii and she was wonderful. And she took me around to a couple of spots as well. And so everybody there was like, everyone was so nice and it was so beautiful. And I was, yeah, I was just so, I couldn't even believe that I had the opportunity to, everybody I told, I was like, yeah, I'm flying to Hawaii for work. They're like, oh, bummer. 
<laughs> I was like, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a dream situation. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The shots were just beautiful. Like the yeah. aerial shots. I was just like, wow. And even just like where everyone was staying, just like the palm trees and like the flowers, it was so pretty. It's just everywhere you look, there's like gorgeous colors and it's, it, I'm from LA. And so I don't know why I noticed this, but it like smells really good there. <laughs> just being outside, the smells are much better than they are here. So I was really, uh, yeah, it was just, it's, it was amazing. It smelled like pineapples, coconut, and hibiscus flowers. I yeah, imagine. it just smelled like beautiful floral tropics. I don't even know. <laughs> Better than here. I'm sure you can get a candle and bath and body works that smells like Hawaii. Oh, I have. <laughs> there you go. So now you're like, I, I know what the real one smells like. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep this going. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, oh my gosh. I just, I can't imagine what, how cool your first trip to Hawaii, you're getting paid, you're getting to act and do what you love with amazing people. Like, yeah. Well, how awesome. Yeah. It was like, I mean, it was so cool that we got to do this. We all said, I think it was like our last night and we we're like, we feel like we've been at camp because it was like, we had, I think three weeks and we're spending almost every day together in a gorgeous location. And when we're not, we're like, hanging out in gorgeous so we really did it truly felt like camp and it was really sad to leave but I'm so happy to have been there in the first place well maybe they'll do a sequel and you can all go back because that would be really neat yeah that's the goal <laughs> um, let's, let's like talk about like a day off that you had what you mentioned you got to see different things what was your favorite thing you got to do when you weren't filming oh that's a really good question we actually had uh I had a, cu a couple of friends come out and visit when I had some time off which was nice and we rented a sailboat one day and went around it was just it's so everything you look at is so oh and that was really cool because we did we sailed around for like I think we rented it for like six hours and um we swam with the sea turtle that was definitely a highlight. I don't know why I wasn't about to say that. <laughs> we so went snorkeling, cool. but there was a sea turtle there and we were keeping our distance, but he was like, he was kind of bobbing around with us for a bit, which was really exciting. I've never seen a turtle before in the wild. So I was like, I can't believe oh I'm God. here. <laughs> a Hawaiian turtle at that. <laughs> I know. And then, oh, also we saw, I saw, the funniest thing was, um, cause Bree's character the whole time is like, I want to see, rainbow the first week I was there I saw two of the most stunning rainbows I've ever seen in my whole life like like you could see arch to arch double rainbow huge they're gorgeous there and I was like come on she would have seen a rainbow by now <laughs> I think I saw four or five in the whole time I was there that was really exciting oh that's so cool I'm glad you shared that that's like a neat comparison to Bree's character <laughs> thinking of that the whole time because I was like she wants to see one another there's one right here it's so beautiful um, that's so cool gosh I mean we could talk about Hawaii forever that's I can talk about it forever yeah <laughs> I, I, I'm sure you already are like planning your next trip <laughs> yeah well also because everybody there was um I think I was surprised at because I didn't know anything and I I've never been there but I was surprised at how much there is to do and there were so many things on my list that I didn't get to do. And that was just in Oahu. And then everyone else I talked to was like, you got to check out all the other islands as well. And I got, you know, wrecks to just like different hikes and things to do. So there, I, I want to go back and I want to island hop. Had I had more time, I would have done that. But um, yeah, Oahu is beautiful. So if like, I guess until you, you have your next trip, like set in stone, you can watch on HDTV. They have, um, Hawaii life. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh but, no. Yeah. These people like buy, like look for different houses in Hawaii and they get like shown three options and they have to pick their option, See, but it's I would like, like so a cool. reality show like that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's oh my, my gosh. kind of thing. I do like looking at houses. <laughs> oh yeah. Well then you would love Hawaii life. You've got to watch it. And it like has these little, like facts and things about Hawaii and like whatever island they're on so that oh, that can great. that can give you your Hawaii fill until you go back yeah <laughs> <laughs> back to the movie um uh, <laughs> I loved like it was so unexpected I feel like for Hallmark Channel the wine throwing scene I was just like oh my yeah, gosh we, we were hoping we filmed it um 
two different ways, one with the toss and one without, because we didn't know if that would um, make it in. And actually the director, McLean, who again is fantastic, he let me practice on him like seven times right before we shot it. Cause we only had one shot, we didn't have time. It was the last shot of the night and we didn't have time to you know, dry her off and reset. And I missed a lot on McLean. It's harder than it looks. You have to fully extend your arm without fear of hitting the other person. So he made that work because <laughs> the first few times I would just, it would like swoop and go over his head completely. And he's like, okay, got to go again, got to go again. But I was literally throwing water on McLean's face <laughs> like seven times. And then it worked perfectly because the shot, we nailed it. It went right. And she was so funny in that too. Her, her reaction to that was hilarious. I'm just glad we got it. <laughs> well, at least you got practice beforehand. Eat it, but yeah, it's it's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh. It, I thought, you know, she's just going to throw the lion on your character. And then when you did it back, I was like, whoa. Was <laughs> yeah. Something oh that I would never do, but you know. It worked for the character. It I mean, worked for Vanessa's style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her style for sure. That was Goes great. for shock value. <laughs> And I hope it, I'm sure it was just real, like water with a little bit of like coloring in it. It was not actual wine. I can't remember what it was. Water. And I remember the champagne every time we had champagne for like the bigger group stuff. That was like some ginger ale. What was the wine? I don't know. It did look know. real though. <laughs> Pina colada uh, flavored tea, but it was like a non-alcoholic <laughs> oh, version. Yeah, vitamin green tea. I think it was oh, water yeah. with green tea. See, you know. I, I had a feeling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and then the other scene I loved was the paint and sip date with oh uh, Marco. You were so funny in that. You like <laughs> just your delivery. <laughs> <laughs> we had so much fun. I actually still have that painting. It was the one thing I wanted. I was like, please, I don't know who made this, but I'm sure that nobody wants it. So can I have it? And McLean brought it back as a as a wrap gift for me. So it's in my garage. Um, but that was so much fun. We were just cracking each other up because also his painting was just atrocious. And that that's what he was really doing it. And, uh, but we started, and that was one where, you know, the first time McLean was like, we got it, but let's just try it again. Try this, say this, talk about this. Let's just like, let you guys go. And I'll just let you guys say whatever you want. Like, but then it, it did start raining. I remember we were really fighting the rain that day because we were outside. And then it got to the point where it was just, it was, <laughs> they were like, action. And we were like, it's, we can't. They're like, okay, yeah, we're done. <laughs> well, they definitely got some good shots. Because they got just, some good shots without the rain, which was nice. <laughs> I did not expect, like, when you turned the painting around, I was like, oh, wow, that <laughs> is something. The first time I saw it, we were like, oh, oh wow. It was perfect. It, it really was. And it kind of like sort of resembled your, you and, uh, no, it did, they, did a, they actually did a fantastic job. I'm not sure who from props painted that, but it was like, and it was actually, I mean, I was like, yeah, I know it's supposed to be like bad, but this is better than I could have painted. Yeah, well, it, they definitely, they had the scales to scale, as you said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're going to have to get that thing framed and put up on your wall. Yeah. It's, it's, it's here. I was like, I have to keep this. <laughs> I'm so glad you got to. That's so fun. What a funny story. Yeah. I was like, no one else is going to want this. <laughs> Corbin's like, I want that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, maybe I'll send it to you in 10 years as a, <laughs> as a reminder. It's going to be worth so much money by then. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're like hitting like the major like moments for your character. So of course we have to talk about the scene where you flip into the swimming pool. The pool yes. I saw I like a behind the scenes video and it was like so well coordinated and like the timing and you like did this like full on flip, like just walking oh, yeah. through that. Wow. We really had to, cause again, obviously we only had one shot. We don't not have a second outfit. We did not have time to dry off. I would have added on way more time. I think we were already going over that day. And again, we shot two versions, one with the fall and one without, just in case it didn't make it in there. But um, I was so excited for that. I remember the first AD, Jenny, came up and she was like, okay, so are you comfortable falling in the pool or would you like us to get a stunt double? I was like, do not. I want to do that. Let me. 
And we had to work out like, okay, Camille's character, the host, like, does she push you in? Does she nudge you in? Do you just fall in? Like, maybe we'll leave it up to interpretation. Uh, and then Scott's character, Luke, as he runs by, McLean was like, yeah, you gotta, we're gonna have to have you turn around and help her out because it does look a little rude if you just run by a girl who's fallen in the pool and don't say anything. Uh, so yeah, it was really fun. And then we had one, I think I posted a video of it where we almost, we were like, okay, we're falling in the pool. This is the one but something happened with the hearts they stuck together and so right when I was about to fall in and Camille was walking behind me to give me the little nudge they were like reset 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 we didn't get it but I almost went in too early and I didn't it was still fine and then I was really pleased with it. my legs went over my head I was like great <laughs> I mean, I was like, you looked like you were literally doing like some gymnastics flip into the pool. <laughs> it looked very dramatic, which is what we were going for. Did you like practice it all ahead of time in like a swimsuit to see if you could get it right? No, I was just really, really hoping that it would look the way that it did. Gosh. So. It was great. And I was also in stiletto. So everyone was really worried that I wouldn't actually fall and like hurt myself. It was very like we had to be everyone was really, um, precise about it. Oh, that's crazy. Well, it, yeah. it turned out like really well. <laughs> I, and it's crazy because it, I guess the shooting schedule is so tight that you didn't get a chance to like do it again. So, oh you yeah, it was just the one, but at that point I was so excited to go in the pool the day that we were all, it's so funny. Cause I think it was only, you know, on in the movie for like a second, but the day where it's all the girls, and I think the scene is um, Chloe and Tiana or Haley and Brie are watching it at home at the very beginning and they're watching the promo. And that's where they're like, she's gonna be the villain. Like that girl's looking off into the distance. The group shots of all of us where we're like, cheers to heart choices or whatever. We're all in like full evening wear on the hottest day for hours, sweat, all of us were like, I want to go. I was like, can we do the pool scene now? No. Okay. <laughs> I had been so ready to jump in that pool because just for days it had been like long dresses in the sun. So I was ready. <laughs> You're like, I'll just wear the same outfit in two different scenes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whenever you want me to go in the pool, I'll go. <laughs> That's, I, it would have been so funny if everyone just like jumped in the pool and they had like kept a scene like that or something in the beginning. We, when we did do that when we wrapped when it was our last night at the mansion, we all jumped in the pool, not in our costumes, but we all had like a 10 minute swim. We were like, we got to get in the pool. We got to enjoy it. We're yeah, you have there. to with tiki torches <laughs> yeah. all around and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to say a proper goodbye to this gorgeous house. Oh, speaking of like, I guess the character stayed in the house. Did you get to like stay in a nice fancy Hawaiian hotel? You know what I realized is that almost all the hotels there are so nice because the view, if you're anywhere by the beach, is just gorgeous. Uh, our apart, so I'm actually a, dating Scott who plays Luke, and we so we stayed together, and our apartment was just like. I've never stayed anywhere like it was just ocean. Like all you could see is ocean from the and we had a huge balcony and the kitchen and living room and like everything was just ocean. And then on the other side, it was all like the gorgeous mountains. And that's where you'd see some rainbows sometime. Yeah, it was amazing. We were all staying in different places because I think people had different preferences and stuff, but everybody's place that I went to was like, I mean, the views were just incredible. It was not a hard place to stay. We were talking about Claire and McLean having like dream jobs. I would say you definitely had one with this, this role. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was just like, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> That's nice. At least you got like a kitchen and stuff compared to, unless they put you up in like a hotel suite. So I can't cook. Scott's a fantastic cook. And he was like, gotta have a kitchen if we're going to be there for three weeks. <laughs> so we, we, we requested a an extended stay place. That's handy. That makes it feel more homey. Well, it, this it is was, perfect. it was, yeah. And a little bit more. Cause I did have, I think the last week we were there, I had already wrapped. And so I was like cooking for myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure the food there is just like amazing and like super fresh compared to like, I guess 
makeshift Hawaiian food yeah. in the U.S.? <laughs> yeah, like fast Hawaiian food here. Yeah, it was amazing. We had some, we ate very well while we were there. They also have really good, there's a lot of like little acai bowl places around and yeah. That's fun. I like that <laughs> acai bowl. I bet like you get like the fresh coconut and the oh, fresh yeah. pineapples. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I think as soon as we got there, they had little baskets for people like, welcome to Love For Real. Thanks for being a part of it from, you know, the producers and stuff, which was really sweet. And there was a pineapple on everybody's thing. So right off the bat, I was eating fresh fruit. <laughs> hey, it doesn't get better or healthier than that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, this is funny because I was actually going to bring up, I had no idea you were dating Scott in real life. And I was like getting my questions and like making sure I did my research. And I was like, wait a second, wait a second. I think they're dating. <laughs> I'm guessing. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if we're going to bring that up, but yeah, that we were staying together. And <laughs> so cool. So what was it like getting to, I assume this is probably your first time making a movie with him getting to be together so much. Yeah, it's actually it was fun because we met on set of several years ago before we started dating. We met on, um, he was on a show called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and I did a couple of episodes. And so that's how we met. And he was, we just got along really well. We haven't worked together since then. So it was really fun to be able to like, you know, our, we shared our trailer together and like everything, we got to spend a lot of time together. Our characters didn't actually interact very much. We didn't really have any scenes together. All of our scenes would be like, I was over here with, you know, like Marco and he would be over there in Video Village with um, Karen's character. And, uh, but the only time we actually really interacted was the pool scene when I fell in and he had to help me back out. That was the only time we were like, we're working together again. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Go oh, like a tiny split second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you said you, the towels over that way, I think is what it was. And that was it. Yeah. Cause it was, <laughs> so we had worked out like everything so well, right. For the, for the pool fall. And McLean was like, yeah, you know what you stop and help and get her out. But we didn't really talk about what to do after that. So fall in, he helps me out. He gets the towel. There was a scene where I'm like wrapped in the towel. And then we're just sitting by the pool and McLean was like, go get, go run away. It looks too romantic. <laughs> we're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unexpected plot twist. <laughs> yeah. See, so like helped me out. We were sitting by the pool and we were like, what do we do now? And McLean was like, run away. And he's like, got it. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, that's so cool. Well, I didn't realize you did Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I know that was a huge show. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. Really happy to be, I mean, obviously I met Scott through all that, but like that, I, yeah, it's so good. That's a show that like from start to finish, I think because Rachel Bloom, the creator, like knew the story that she wanted to tell. And so it ended in this really beautiful way as well. Yeah, I, I was a fan. Oh yeah. I know a lot of people where it lasted a while. Um, and before we like, I, I, well, I want to talk about like other current things you're doing, but let's finish up with love for real for a second. We we've kind of gone through all the major moments. I mean, even like the finale episode where your character gets to wear this beautiful dress. And then here comes Chloe with the astronaut outfit. So jealous that she got to wear the astronaut suit though, because I, if you look like they always put Vanessa, which makes total sense for her character. She was always in stilettos. She's never not in stilettos. Even the beach, the, there was like a pool scene and everyone's in flats and Vanessa's in stilettos. So I was just so jealous that she got to wear sneakers and that big astronaut suit. Although I was thrilled by the gorgeous pink dress. We were really excited about that one. The costume designer Meredith was fantastic. And so everything that we were wearing, we were always really excited about, but. I was like, ah, oh, you gotta be in sneakers. <laughs> uh, stilettos day after day. I'm sure your feet were like, um, please help. <laughs> there was one day, yeah, I had to start every time we were cut. I had to take them off because I've never, I've worn them for work, obviously a lot, but it's usually like, this was a lot of, because of all of the elimination ceremonies, it was a lot of standing. It was a lot of just standing in heels on cement, which is worse than walking. I didn't know, but that will get your feet. I had a couple of days where I was like, going to be horizontal all day today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. And like soak yeah. your feet in some like foot spa bath yeah. thing. <laughs> I, I can't wear heels. Like I'm super uncoordinated. So I can't I'm, imagine. I am too. I mean, in a way I was happy that they didn't make me walk because I'm not good at, oh, I did. So we did 
the big reveal of the outfits were slow-mo and it's me and Chloe walking and she's carrying the helmet and that was on grass and I was in heels and that was and then and then when Vanessa you know has her little like will I ever find love and then like runs away running in the heels was really I was not surprised that they cut away immediately. I was like, I can't, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like a galloping horse. Like, trying yeah, to I was balance. like trying to run and I was like, I can't, I can do like a weird hobble. <laughs> There's a show. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It was on ABC family, like in 2012 and it was called Jane by design. Have you ever heard of that? I didn't think so. Okay. It got canceled after one season. What a shame. Yeah. But <laughs> the main character, she, is always in like these crazy heels and she's always like late to work in New York city and she's always running along. And I'm like, I don't know how she does it because I like, don't know how she does it. Oh Camille was also always in stilettos who played the host. What's her name? Emily Camille was always in stilettos as well, but she was way better at wearing them than I was. And she could walk in them and she could run in them. She had a couple scenes where she had to like run after the camera crew and she did it flawlessly and I was just like I don't know how you're doing that there's gotta be like some boot camp for running and heels I don't know I can't do I can barely walk you can put on your resume on um, special skills running in heels in the grass in, in the grass gown. hey there I- you go <laughs> <laughs> that could be that could be the one thing that gets you the role compared to someone else like, yeah. okay, she has that skill we need it <laughs> I won't like it but I will do it <laughs> So yeah, I'm glad we talked about that scene because we almost forgot. It was so great. I love. I know. The I almost forgot. The horses were really cool too. I was I was jealous that I, although I was a little bit nervous, I was standing off before she before she brings the horse out. I was just. I was jealous that I didn't get to work with the horses, but I was also a little bit like nervous to be, cause I was like sitting kind of behind the horse. And I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the one spot that like, I'm not supposed to be around the horse, but, and I wasn't there for any of the, uh, Corbin and Ty had a lot of the running stuff, which by the way, when we watched it, I was like, this, these are gorgeous shots and you guys look fantastic horse running through Jurassic Valley. Like, I loved that. I thought that was so pretty. Was that really them? That was really them, except for when the horses were in like full sprints. There's like a wide shot of the horses like really running away, but they did both trot on it and get to a little bit of a gallop. I asked and I was like, it looks, that looks like you. Was that you? That's so cool. Like in a fully tailored suit. Yeah. I was just like, if that's them and not a double, I will be amazed at their horse riding skills. They did, they did do more than I would have thought they were. Yeah. And they did a wonderful job. I think there was only just one quick shot that wasn't them. Out of all those moments, what's your absolute favorite scene that you got to film? That I got to film. I think it was the pool scene, just because everyone, we were so excited. Anytime it's like the last shot of the night and like, it's a stunt, even if it was like a very low stakes stunt, it was still like, I, we were all like the crew and all the cast were like, really like everyone had their phones out and they're like, okay, let's do it. We'd all been like waiting for it for a while. So I think that was really exciting. I think I would have to say that one. Although I did really also like um, the first time, I think it was the first time I had met Tiana was the scene with the pool, with the wine and the cheese. And it's kind of the first time that they come in and they're like, okay, let's go divide and conquer. I'll get Vanessa. And Vanessa's so mean to her. And every, and I had never really met her in person before. And every time they were like, I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cause she's so sweet and she's so wonderful and she's so friendly. <laughs> and I'd just be like staring at her, giving her dagger eyes. That was fun, but I kept apologizing. <laughs> and then after we were done with that scene, I was like, okay, I would like to get to know you now. <laughs> you, it was so funny. Cause your character like totally switched like, oh wait, you've been watching from the beginning. Hey, yeah. Dylan, am I hit the front runner? I loved that. <laughs> she's very interested in herself <laughs> she's looking out for herself though <laughs> in that reality plan dating too, world. like Brie it's just a totally different plan <laughs> that's why we need more spinoffs we need to see what the next chapter is for all of these characters I know because I actually I really did like her speech at the end where Corbin Marco chooses Vanessa and she's like 
you know, well, I know that she had her whole plan, but it's, I thought that was very genuine of like, no, I deserve someone who actually likes me. And you very clearly don't, <laughs> you know, I liked that. She said that I thought that was a little bit like standing up for herself. And like, it was to me, her most real moment before she made it about dramatics again, but it was the line of her being like, I deserve someone who's like unwavering in their feelings, just like I am. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. It's a good lesson for life. If you're chasing someone and then they're not chasing back. And then all of a sudden they're just, you're like, wait a second, let's talk about this. Yeah. I mean, his speech was literally like, you've been there since day one and you've never wavered. And so I would like to pick you. And she's like, yeah, you're right. But what? Like, <laughs> it's like, you didn't compliment the painting I did. Yeah. We can't be together. I painted us and you didn't care. <laughs> also like, you're clearly in love with someone else. <laughs> I love that. Well, your character that. had a great like last moment with, like you said, the dramatics. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't really know who I'm playing this to like a camera or like what, but yeah. Yeah. I saw like, like your character can like, away and then run away. <laughs> yeah. You like turn towards the camera, like to make sure they got your best shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, she's not saying this to Marco. She's saying this to America. <laughs> to America. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All your moments were so great. They definitely stood out. It was yeah. nice. So oh, great okay. job. I was great really job. excited that they kept that that it all stayed in there. There was nothing that got cut that I was bummed about. So I was I was thrilled. So oh, that's you. always exciting because you're <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. where was that scene I did? It was so fun. <laughs> I know. I yeah. Well, you never know. <laughs> so Those editors have to do their jobs sometimes, but that luckily yeah. you got all your great scenes in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It gave it a, <laughs> yeah, she was definitely the, the wildest of the bunch. I think <laughs> <laughs> those are always the fun characters to play. Was, I'm sure. Yeah. She was really fun to play. Um, so obviously we've talked, you, you worked with Scott who, you know, pretty well, but you got to yeah. work with Corbin Blue and Chloe Bridges, who of course they're Disney channel yes. loyalty. They, yes. I mean, and they're both amazing. And I was shocked by how, cause I didn't have, I watched it, um, a few nights ago and I didn't have a lot of scenes. Well, I did with. Corbin but they were always like the presentational scenes because it was always like for the reality show um I loved he is so talented in all of his scenes where it was like you saw his heart I was like god you're so vulnerable and you're so beautiful and he's perfect for Marco and then Chloe was hilarious and she gave such a sarcastic edge to Haley that I hadn't initially when I read the script I was I didn't think about it that way and she she was cry I I watching from start to finish I was like oh my god she's hilarious and she and they were both so wonderful to work with and like everyone was so sweet so funny Karen who played Marie I uh, like as a person she's hilarious I never had any scenes with her so I was so excited to see all of her stuff because everybody kept saying like oh my god I just had a scene with Karen she's so funny <laughs> and I could hear her sometimes in the distance yelling like cut or like roll sound, you know, but like, I never got to work with her. So seeing her work was really great. I just thought everyone did such a nice job. And then McLean was also really good at playing up people's talents, like what he thought that they would be good at. He would give them more things to do and like change a line here or there. Like, you know, he was really encouraging. So yeah everyone's characters were really strong and it definitely was like everyone had their own unique like qualities and that mm -hmm. absolutely shined through the like almost like sarcastic pessimism that Chloe gave Haley in in contrast to Tiana who was just like so optimistic and like full of wonder and like childlike enthusiasm and I thought that they were uh they played really well together oh they did it was I I loved this after like there's what we had, I think four summer nights movies. And then this is the fifth one for Hallmark channel. This was one of my absolute favorites. And it's funny oh. because my other favorite was her pen pal. So, I mean, of course, I, have and to watch that. I know. Oh gosh, I will. Oh, that's so great. I'm glad that you liked it. Oh yes, absolutely. Well, I did an interview with um, a couple of the actors from her pen pal. So yeah. if you have time, you got, you should listen to those because they're really of interesting. Course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested to hear how that experience was like too, because I've heard her talk about it, obviously, but um, three, three or so weeks in Paris, like 
what was that like? <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds like it was lovely. I mean, it doesn't get any better than Paris or Hawaii. I don't think so. Those are like top know, destination vacations. I thought it was hilarious that they were shooting those movies at the same time. I was like, you guys are killing it right now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're like the, I'm trying to think of a word, like something duo, like the the Hallmark directing duo, the star duo, I don't know, yeah. something, something catchy and clever, I can't think of it, but I can't think of it right now, but I do know you're on the song. <laughs> um, well, we, you kind of mentioned about watching Chloe and Corbin, but I mean, were you a fan of Camp Rock and High School Musical? So I, I had seen Camp Rock, I think. I don't remember it as well as I do. I did watch High School Musical 1 and 2. The second one, they're in New Mexico or something, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I saw 1 and 2, and I was, I, was, of course, I was the fan. I was like, this is so much fun. That song, All in This Together. <laughs> yeah. I saw clips of Camp Rock, but I can't remember it in its entirety. But I was a big Jonas Brothers fan, so I'm pretty sure I must have watched it at some point. I mean, we're going back like 15 and 16 I know, years I'm like, right I now. I can't remember, but like the songs sound familiar. <laughs> I remember like High School Musical, I remember them being in like the desert. <laughs> yeah, I think they filmed it in like Utah. I feel like that's where they filmed it. I don't know. Probably why. a lot of stuff is filmed in Utah. But apparently it was, it served as the backdrop for Albuquerque. I like, I was a big fan of high school musical. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people were for a good reason. They, they, I feel like they've all gone on to do a lot of stuff, which is great. Yeah. And Corbin didn't dance or sing, but he did yoga. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he was fantastic. He said he's done dancing with the stars before you said you liked dancing with the stars. Did you see Corbin on that? I totally missed that season. I have to go YouTube it. Oh my gosh. He, he, apparently he, he, he did a season of that. I was like, wow, was that hard? He was like, eh, I'm a dancer. I got it. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's always easier for the original dancers yeah, yeah, yeah. Think that was, they know yeah, what they're doing. You knew what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you for telling me. Yeah, I can't wait. That's thank you. You just gave me <laughs> watch. Now you have to watch Hawaii Life on HD. I will. <laughs> oh, and Life the pen pal. Pen pal. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, it, it has been so awesome chatting with you. Thank you for talking with me for forty-five minutes. All about love for real. Of course, you're so sweet. Thank you for having me. Perfect. It's been so great chatting with you. I'm glad you had such a fun time making it. Loved the movie. I hope you get another opportunity to do a Hallmark Channel movie because it was great. Me too. Thank you so much. <laughs> enjoyed it. Okay, of course. Have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye.